Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of Assassination Freelancer. And uh, we pick up where we left off in the last episode, and we are on our fourth and final syndicate leader. So let's go around to Mendoza, where we have nine suspects, one courier, one supplier. We have sniping rifle kill, do not blow your disguise, and poison target dart gun as our optional objectives. So Good job, kill we now know the syndicate leader's current location. So on to our prestige objectives. I've provided you with new intel. During a hell. I think we'll give that one a go, actually. Uh, if we're using the sniping rifle, that might be achievable. So, let's see who is our target today. They are a bookworm. They're dehydrated. They have glasses, necklace, earrings, and grey hair. So, we are going to require a few items. So first of all, we'll take the dart gun with us. If we get an opportunity, we can take care of that objective. We're gonna require a silenced pistol as always, and a sniping rifle. I'm gonna bring this one. The Seeger 300 will do. I do prefer the Leviathan, but we don't currently have that. So let's get to Mendoza. Bon voyage, 47. Welcome to Venido Yates, Argentina. This is the last stand. We now know the leader's location. However, you will need to do some recon to make sure you get the right target. On the other hand, we do know this. They are here for a business meeting. We also have the following description on their looks. We know that they have gray hair. They are wearing a necklace. They are wearing earrings and glasses. Furthermore, your target enjoys reading, and they suffer from dehydration. That's all I have for you at present. Don't disappoint, 47. Good luck. So, here we are, praying to Eros. Sorry, I've got business to attend to. Uh, first objective will be to get past this guard right here. He should move off to his left, lovely. Uh, we need to get ourselves somewhere safe somewhere public, where we're not trespassing ideally, but there are worse locations to start from, so I'm not complaining. So once we're through the path here, we can then use instinct. We have nine suspects to work our way through. There's one all on his own, isolated over in what looks like the tasting room. So we'll start with this person here. Uh, enforcers and lookouts to worry about but we have grey hair we have glasses uh, and we have dehydrated so we are off to a very good start here so we just need to check does he have necklace and earrings I'm too far away for the earrings and I can't quite see Oop, let's just uh, move away casually yeah. here Unfortunately, one of the lookouts has arrived, so we're just going to wait this guy out. Go on, move away. Nothing to see here, mate. Yep, well done. So, where is our guy? Oh, he's, he's heading out the other door. Lovely. There are no enforcers or lookouts around here. We should be able to get a nice, good view oh, at our so guy. handsome, And uh, just as I get in position, he turns around. Oh, it looks like he's having a meeting. Should we get started? Uh, meeting I wonder what they're match. talking about. It does have Seems that they're trying though. to keep their meeting secret. Uh, the young lady this could be a lead, so she's definitely not our suspect. So we'll just discount you right away there. Hey there. So as we talk? Hi, good to see you right again. Meeting. Any so update on the item? No need to worry. Uh, we may have to Operation move on Deadhead to somebody in. else. I can live with that. We've eliminated one. We have one potential. That means we have another seven to work our way through. Uh, I want to try and get through them as quickly as possible. So there's a nice big group of them over by the dance floor here. A 
few more lookouts to worry about as well. So, no hair, discount you. Uh, enforcer, let's uh, move away. Uh, where's he going to go? There's a few enforcers or lookouts in this area, so we will be jogging around a lot of them quite a bit. So, we have another suspect right here. Again, Hello there. No hair, you are not who we are looking for. Where are the next ones? Right. So there's a couple inside. You have a sweet tooth, do you? Who should we go for? It's definitely not our, our person there. So let's move up to the barbecue dining area. We should be a few suspects up here to work our way through as well. Uh, not as many as I thought. More of them are inside than I figured. So you do not have grey hair sir, so that's you taken care of. So let's make our way back downstairs and into the reception area. And hopefully in here we can locate a few more suspects. So we still have the one Weird. possibility over okay. in the wine tasting area. We have two more here. One has grey hair, glasses, earrings, but is allergic. The other is bald. And a third one. Alright, well, we can see the grey hair right off the bat here. We have a necklace, we have glasses. And this young lady is looking quite promising. We've managed to discount quite a few now as well. So I'm just going to follow this young lady around for a little while and see if we can't eliminate her from our list or eliminate her full stop as the target. So where are you going? Where are you going? Don't throw yourself off the edge. Right, we have dehydrated. So that is yet another tell. Uh, so that's most of them. I uh, still need to check on earrings, although I think I've saw earrings. I uh, can't be a hundred so we just need one more item, or possibly two, seeing as the gentleman down at the wine tasting area matches up pretty much everything but the meeting, I think we better make sure this lady has the right meeting as well. So where are you going here? You seem to be wandering around aimlessly at this aimless kind of party. somewhere nice and far away and this looks like as good a spot as any are over here and we know that our target approaches that banister on two separate occasions to commit two tells or one tell at the very least I believe she does go and drink from one of the banister drinks as well so all we have to do is wait for her to go through her routine, go through her meetings, uh, and she's picking up a glass. Now's our chance, and we've killed an innocent behind 47. her. Your target is Luckily, on to you and is trying to get kills away. don't count. Get up, dear, you're behind a plant pot. I need to, there we go. The leader is eliminated. Well done, 47. Get back to the safe house. I'll be in touch. So we managed to get our sniper rifle kill objective, but unfortunately because we didn't get a one-shot kill, uh, we have failed the prestige objective. So we're not going to do quite so well out of this one. Anyway, the job is done. We haven't blown our disguise for 500 quid. So let's just get to our new exit, which is the nearest safe exit. It's probably the safest exit on the map. And make our way back to the safe house. Hopefully Diana has the kettle.
Impressive, 47. You have single-handedly managed to defeat an entire network of syndicates. You are truly making a difference. So, unfortunately, we failed our prestige objective. Uh, completely forgot about poisoning the target, although I don't really remember her presenting us with any good opportunities to shoot her with a dark gun. So, we didn't do too badly on that one. We got our target and we got a couple of our objectives. So, we'll take what we can as we head back to our nice hot cup of coffee. Seven. You have taken down four connecting syndicates. This is a major blow and a clear signal that no one is safe. So take some time off. You deserve it. Let me know when you're ready for your next assignment. I don't need time off, Diana. I just need a bacon sandwich and a coffee and a nice samurai sword. And I am good to go. Uh, so we've got a nice katana for our reward there. What do we get from our reward crate? Uh, take a syringe. So, uh, one more syndicate taken down. Join us in the next episode where we will begin a new campaign. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.